rather always near to the home of the president. Are you all enjoying it so far, even though you're only here for a few minutes? There you go. Um, okay, folks, uh, very quickly, I'm just going to do a little bit of housekeeping, which is essentially the fire safety announcement. So in the unlikely event of a fire alarm sounding and an evacuation being called, I'm going to ask all of you to please proceed out of the exit, which is just, uh, just over here, and then make your way right. Did you see the large acorn uh, art piece? Well, that's the fire assembly point, folks, so please make your way there. And staff will be in hand to guide and assist you should you need any help. Um, we'll be joined momentarily by the President and Sabina Higgins, at which point I shall announce them into the room. Uh, feel free to give a little round of applause if you wish, a little cheer maybe. And again, you don't have to do that, uh, but it's a nice little way to welcome the President and Sabina into the room, but I'll leave that to your own discretion. Uh, in terms of wearing masks, folks, anybody who wants to wear the mask, by all means do, but if you don't, you're free not to. Um, and that's pretty much it. I'm flying through this because the President will be here in the next couple of minutes. Uh, I'm now going to step away from the microphone, folks. When you see me coming back, that's when I'm about to announce the President, and we'll take it from there. Following uh, the, the event here and the presentation of the awards, um, we will go up to the main house itself, and refreshments will be served, and a bit of entertainment will be laid on as well. So thanks for your time and attention, folks. Right. Cheers. Hello, everyone. You can speak back. Hello. We're in real life again. Woohoo. Hello, everyone. Yay. It is so great to see you. Welcome to the Gashka President's Awards Ceremony. It is like the Oscars, only here the heroes don't need stunt doubles to get things done. You're all that amazing. My name is Tara Flynn and I'm going to be your MC for the afternoon. I am so honoured and excited to be joining you today, meeting all our incredible Gashka awardees. <laughs> We have been invited here by our magnificent president, as you heard, President of Ireland, Michael D. Higgins. Now, I am a huge fan of Anouk Theron, but this is one of the only days in the year where his magnificence is almost eclipsed by the heroes in the audience. You. Yes, I'm looking up to you, but you, you deserve it today. To set the scene, Gashka, the President's Award, is our president's call to action for Ireland's young people to dream big and realise their potential. It's also a recognition of your time and effort, of your incredible commitment and having heard just a glimpse over the last few days of what you've achieved, the barriers you've overcome, I, I don't, I'm not going to lie, I'm feeling fierce and adequate. You are amazing. It is so lovely, isn't it, to be able to celebrate in person. But for any families and President Award leaders, pals, that are unable to join us here in Hyde Hall today, we are live streaming the event. Isn't technology brilliant? We're together apart. So say hello to our online friends. Hello. I'm actually a little bit jealous of the live stream friends who can celebrate in their jammies still if they like. I've, I've struggled to say goodbye to the jammies, don't know what a zip is anymore. Now, there's an awful lot of bad news out there. People fighting, ignoring the climate crisis, or your fave on Love Island getting their head turned. But look, it is what it is. However, today is officially Good News Day, where we hear about people, you, doing great things in their communities, bravery and courage about selflessness. In a me, me, me world, all of you have reminded us that ni nart gukur lekele. And we get to be together here in beautiful Orson with our magnificent president. So without further ado, we're going to hand you over to the aide de camp who you heard from earlier. A little round of applause for his amazing intro. And he is going to introduce Uchtaron Nehren, the President of Ireland. We do, we do. That's Sing. not going to work. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please welcome the President and Sabina Higgins. Falter Roev and Concur in Ul Sprud on Leonyev, Beaconish in Arguina, Fuckle on Philomore, Brendan Canelli. You are not comparing yourself with anyone. You are not competing with anyone. 
what you are actually doing is creating yourself. Do you agree? With that spirit fresh in our minds, we acknowledge the incredible achievement of every young adult who's with us today, as well as with the families, the pals, joining us on live stream from all around the country. Today we celebrate two years of Gashka Gold awardees. Due to COVID-19, this ceremony, like so much else, had to be postponed, as you all know. It's the first time in nearly three years that we've had a Gold Award ceremony. So it is a delight not only to be together again, but here at Orson Uchtheroin, the first time in many years that the ceremony has been held at the President's house. So make sure you wash your cups later. We do want to be invited back. We really hope we will. <laughs> to all the pals listening in today who have been mentors, supports and guides to every single Gashka awardee, thank you on your participants' behalf for the voluntary commitment and for continuously inspiring your participants and always believing in them. A pal's job is a special one as young people strive to achieve their award. And to the families and friends of awardees joining us today, without you, today would not have been possible. Gaurav Mila Mahagoyev. Now, Gashka is driven not just by the participants and pals, but also by the important input and support of Gashka's council members, including members who have gold awards themselves, and by the genuine voluntary commitment they have all given to developing Gashka, with the firm belief that this council has had that the Gashka Award programme should be accessible to every young person in Ireland, making Gashka available as part of their tenure. And now, to give his opening remarks, I would like to invite the chair of the Gashka, the President's Award Council. I, I have, I've just met him, but I hear he is fundamentally fabulous. That's a quote. Please welcome John Cunningham. I'm glad you were listening. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome. On behalf of the Council of Gashka, welcome to this extraordinarily special day. For all of you who have completed your Gashka goal journey, it is a remarkable achievement for all of you. And what's even more remarkable, I think, for all of you is that to be here today in the presence of our president and Mrs. Higgins to receive your medal from the president is an extraordinary honor. And I think also, Tara, this is actually the first ever gold medal event to be held in our Sanuktharon. And I think that, again, makes today extremely special. And for those of you who haven't been here before, when you drive in the gates and you come around and see the place, it really is an extraordinarily beautiful place. And today, I think you're going to create long-lasting memories forever. It's hard to believe that it was 2019 since we had our last ceremony, so these medals today are for our 2020-21 recipients. Over 144 people achieved the gold medal in that period, and we have over 80 here today. And I'm also delighted to announce, uh, President, that of those 144, 36 were from the north of Ireland for the joint award. And we have six people here today from the north receiving their medals. We have a joint award with the Duke of Edinburgh Award in the North of Ireland. We're working extraordinarily hard to, to bring uh, the programme to the North. So it's great to see. I want a special welcome to our, our Northern Ireland, Ireland brothers and sisters who have joined us here today. Um, I suppose what's really important for us is that normally at an event like this, we have the pals and lots more family. And I think that the pals who perform their role on behalf of the President's Award are the really unsung heroes of this uh, whole programme. And I'm so glad we're being live streamed to people all over the country today uh, who are going to be able to enjoy and celebrate the, cel the, the ceremony with you. But they provide such extraordinary, valuable, voluntary time. And they do, I know they inspire all of you. And I think, again, it was something that struck me that when COVID happened, uh, Gashka responded very quickly. And Yvonne and the team uh, launched the Gashka Soalia. And what became very clear to us was that for so many young people who are now stuck at home, the lack of structure was a huge, huge disadvantage and having something to really focus on. So we know that Gashka was one of those programs that helped you have a really kind of important and valuable time during this challenge. And I think again that for all of you who completed it during COVID, it's an even bigger uh, achievement on the basis that it was a huge challenge to actually participate and get it done. So on our behalf again, well done. Um, we're very lucky, I think, first of all, to have a president like uh, President Higgins, and he's encouraged us since the, certainly my tenure as chair to focus on the marginalised communities in Ireland, and we've done some extraordinary work on your behalf to bring the President's Award to uh, as many audiences as possible. We had some wonderful work done through our like-minded project which worked with the LGBTQ plus community in Ireland, 
And it's really interesting again in our research, there are so many members of that community who didn't feel that it was easy for them to participate. And the Like Minded Project has delivered some of the most extraordinary results for us uh, 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 as an organization. And we will be working so hard to ensure that we extend it further and further and further. And so many of the young people who participated were given a safe environment to do so. And again, it just demonstrated the need for it. So again, inspiration with the president saw this gap with regard to those marginalized communities, and we worked to deliver it. And the other one then is our Wavelength um, program, which works with young people in refugee and the asylum system, which again has been, you know, we won't talk about the asylum system in, in any particular detail today because it's kind of, it's, it's a, maybe a scourge on our, our nation for the last number of years. But the work that we've done um, with Wavelength has been extraordinary. We've had to work really hard and cleverly to get people to participate and get involved. But again, it just demonstrates every time all young people need often is a responsible, caring adult to show interest and give them encouragement to become those best versions of themselves. And again, think about this. This is the President's Award, and it is on his behalf that you're receiving this award today. And that commitment to giving young people the skills to be the best versions of themselves, whatever that may be. And I think we've all seen the benefit of Gashka for so many people and how their confidence grows, how they kind of get a sense of themselves in the world, and also understand their role in giving back. Because one thing we'll ask you today is when you finish here today, you've all got another big responsibility that you're all ambassadors for the President's Award now. And we would ask you all to try and keep connected, become pals, talk to your friends, your younger brothers and sisters, nieces and nephews, and encourage them to participate. Because our objective is to reach out to as many people as we possibly can. And again, just to say that the Council, a lot of the members who are here today, who are voluntary members of the Council, provide a hugely valuable role in supporting Yvonne and the team in establishing best practice from a corporate governance point of view, in ensuring that the strategy works and that we really do our very best with the resource that we've got. So I would like to personally thank all the members of Council who give their time so freely and so willingly for this great cause. So again, Council, thank you so much. Um, just to finish up, just to say that, you know, it sounds a bit glib, but, you know, you are the future. And I suppose every time, and we have this conversation, every time we participate in the process, and every time we meet the students who've graduated, okay, we become even more encouraged with regard to what we're doing. And we know that Gashka works, and it really helps people find their place in the world. And Tara took my closing quote, but it's worth repeating again, and that is that Brendan Kennelly piece. You are not comparing yourself with anyone. You are not competing with anyone. What you are is actually creating yourselves. What an extraordinary way of just capturing the, the, the essence of Gashka. So on my behalf, to all of you, congratulations to the President and his team and Secretary General Orlo Hanrahan and her team. Thank you all so much for making today happen and have a wonderful afternoon. Thank you very much. Your fabulousness not dimmed by my stealing your quote accidentally. Thank you to John Cunningham. And now I'm delighted to welcome a gold awardee himself to address us. Colm Keegan is an award-winning writer and poet from Dublin, here in Dublin. And he was a co-founder and board member of Lingo, Ireland's first spoken word festival, and in 2014 was awarded a residency in the Lexicon, Ireland's largest public library. He has developed numerous creative writing projects for schools and colleges around the country and is a creative writing teacher, also a co-founder of the Inklinks Project, a writing initiative for young writers. Please welcome Colm Keegan. How's it going? What's the crack? <laughs> hey, hello to you, Uktron and Miss Higgins as well. Um, I don't really understand my purpose here because it feels like what I know, you already know. You're proof of something amazing that you've achieved that you didn't think you could do. But I wrote stuff down because I'm an awful waffler. And I can't believe that this amazing line is there because I'm going to touch you'll see what I'm talking about is this idea of creating yourself. Um, so I'm just going to talk a little bit about my own experience. I'm 47 now, but when I was 19, I, was, I went to the French Alps as part of my gold award. Actually, maybe I was 20, and I was a young father. And myself and my friend, Gary McCarthy, we were both growing up in Clondalkin. And he turned to me one day in a field, picture the scene, a field in Clondalkin. And he turns to me and he says, do you want to go to the Grand Canyon? And I was like, what? And we were set, we'd set up a canoeing club, and we said, yeah, let's do it, we'll go. And we went and we talked to our President's Award leader, Eddie McAvoy, great school teacher in St. Kevin's, and he says, no, 
it's too far, it's too hard. Why not the French Alps? That's nearer and it's still hard. And he says, yeah, let's do that, you know? So we did, and that's when it got complicated because we had no idea what we were doing. You know what I'm talking about. We had an idea, we had a dream, and then we started to act on it. We had the fundraise, we had the uh, knock door to door, collect sponsorship, we did all sorts of things. And we started talking to powerful people, politicians, um, uh, developers, like Liffey Valley was getting built at the time, and we went and we asked the developers for money, and they all supported us. And we even asked Mars Ireland to support us, and they gave us a box of Mars bars, which we thought was a bit <laughs> scabby at the time, but you know, <laughs> that's what happens. Um, and then there we were, you know, in, uh, in the airport, um, and it was a lot easier back then to get through the airport. <laughs> but we had kayaks, and we literally tried to pass them off as hand luggage, and we got to the French Alps, <laughs> and uh, you know, the rivers were unbelievable. And we had this gas situation, actually quite dangerous situations. The rivers could kill you, you know, we're literally grade six, the most dangerous rivers you could go on. Um, and we did this thing where uh, we brought a guidebook and then it turned out the guidebook was wrong. There'd been a storm and we ended up with this mad thing. And my friend Gary actually tapped out that day and he was like, I can't do any more, it's too scary. But apart from that, there was these unbelievable moments where we tested ourselves and we found ourselves in a place we could never be. And I could literally feel my heart, myself growing in the moment, turning to my friends and saying, oh my God, I can't believe we're actually here. Um, and then after that, we ended up somewhere like this, Dublin Castle, where I uh, met Mary McAleese and where I actually spoke to RTE and gave the worst speech to camera that has ever been given. I can remember myself trying to mimic uh, Mr McAvoy, and I was like, trying to talk like a man. That just ended up on the cutting room floor, thank God. But actually, that wasn't the worst speech I gave. I gave another speech as a President's Award leader in front, and Joe Duffy was watching me. And it was the sh most shocking speech I ever gave. But it's not about that today. It's about the good things and the successes. We actually got to meet Mary McAleese, who gave an amazing speech, and she said to me something that stayed with me. And as I reflect on today, I think about it. It really stayed with me for my whole life, what she said, and what I did as a gold awardee. Um, and then I went to town, and I had the best night out ever, because I had the best suit in Ireland, I swear to God. You should have seen it. It was way better than what I have on today. Um, and I was, well, I was convinced it was the best suit in Ireland at the time, because you know, the feeling you have today, like, give yourself a pat on the back, this is unbelievable. But I didn't really understand what was happening to me at the time. And here I am now, that was 25 years ago. Gary has been on the board of directors of international brands, like he's this mad kind of achieving guy in big business. He actually runs the Guinness Yard. When you go down the Liffey now, he's in charge of all of that, you know? Um, and I'm a poet. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm in charge of things too, but you know, they're kind of smaller. Um, and a lot of my work is just about inspiring creativity and taking the message that I learned as a gold awardee into skills and saying to people, you know, you're not just making poems, you're making a life. The future is fiction. You literally make it up. I made up my trip to the French Alps. You know what I mean? And I made up myself through the Gasker Award. Um, and it's like, you know, there's something... There's, there's so many different projects that I've done since. I have the Poetry Order Review, which I might hand to Utrecht later on if we get a chance. Um, we've got this, like, so many things that I've done that I couldn't think I did. We ran a, f a festival that took over the whole uh, city every year for three years, Lingo Festival. I've written loads of plays, written books, TV shows. I've been involved in so many different projects. And the latest one is Writing Home, which is uh, service, servicing people in homeless services, using creativity to support them through COVID. And everywhere we went, we met people who said, it's too hard, it can't be done. And then every so often, I'd meet someone like you, who was like, yeah, that sounds hard, I'll help you. Do you know what I mean? And those people are everywhere. They really are. That project was one of the hardest things to do for the hardest people to reach, and we made it happen only uh, through the pandemic. And I learned, I knew, subconsciously, I was pulling on all of these things, all these things that I knew through the Goshka Award. Um, and I met so many people like you, you know, who'd find a way. And you know what I'm talking about. You're here because you found a way, you know what I mean? And you did a great job, and hopefully without some terrible speeches uh, today as well. <laughs> and this, I have to say, is a really good speech. Because, and not just because of what I'm saying, but because of who I'm saying it to. Because you are the doers. You're what Mary McAleese was talking about. She said that to me. She said, you are the doers. And everywhere I look in this country, when you start to look, you see them everywhere. This country is riddled with the doers. I swear to God. You know what I mean? And I know that this award is just the beginning for you all. And I hope you keep going. I hope you keep making things, not bad speeches. Keep making things happen and keep making a difference. Thanks very much. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you, Colm. A really good speech. Not terrible at all. I think you'll all agree. And now, Arina Yushla. It's time to hear from the man himself, our grace, gracious host for the day. I am so honoured to introduce Uchtharon Naheran, Michael D. Higgins. Well, I'm going to ask you 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 to ask May I say first of all how welcome you all are, all of you to to uh, Oris Rutron, and how pleased uh, Sabine and I are to be able to have this ceremony here in Oris uh, I think that, as I have just said, uh, for the last couple of years, a great deal of our work has been virtually delivered insofar as we weren't able to do many things because of the risk complying with the restrictions of COVID-19. Uh, but here we all are, and you're here in Oris uh, de de which, of course, this room is named in the honour of the very first president of Ireland, Creven Even Douglas de Hirda. I'm the ninth president uh, uh, of Ireland. I must say what it is wonderful that we're able to be presenting the awards um, for two years, and I very much want to thank in the beginning, um, perhaps to thank um, Yvonne in particular. We, Yvonne, who heads Kashka, if her CV is an astounding one, it's we're very fortunate to have such a talented and qualified person who has so much expertise picked up in various academic institutions here and abroad. But also, in addition to that, is the very essence of what Kashka is about, and that is, it's about volunteering, it's about making connection with others. If I might just do, first of all, I want to thank Colin Keegan for his speech. Uh, these lines, words, is pro uh, poets are very, very important. Poets, uh, one of the f functions of poetry is to distill what is important, and the other is, I think, in a way, to be far seen, to see what is coming. And poets always, in fact, reveal what it is that people might be hiding but they also see what is coming. I think these words of Brenda Canelli's, which I know, they're so just where that poem runs on actually is it speaks about creating yourself is never about yourself. Uh, creating yourself depends essentially on creating yourself through others. And all of the work, and uh, John Kang knows this in my conversations with the Council of Gashka in recent times, has been about why are we always seeking to extend the reach of Gashka all of the time. We've been doing that, that um, uh, very deliberately. Uh, I think of groups we, we have to try and reach uh, uh, all of the time. And I think that it is when Gashka is succeeding, it's succeeding when it's extending the boundaries of its inclusion all, uh, all of the time. I'm delighted as well, may I, that we're being streamed, that I would say I want to pay tribute to all of those parents, Netish Mahore, Agasid Sanavi Kaurag, Iskumakwing Rauder Kaurag, and all of those who have assisted our gold recipients in any way. I think. Uh, this is maybe we have said it's such a kedu rivian akocha agra in in Oris and Uthron. This while this is a first for us here to have gold ceremonies in Oris and Uthron, we have had ceremonies in so many different places, and they were all aimed, if you like, at widening continually the reach of Gashka. We've had presentation ceremonies in community training colleges, with disability organisations, in prisons and in direct provision. And all of these occasions have been imp impressive. And, and what, what's left at the end of it, I remember when I visited the presentation ceremony in the prison, I was very anxious to hear uh, uh, the prisoners' own view of what they had achieved. And really it was about perseverance, a resolve, a willingness to undertake challenges that is there in young people and which defines all those who have successfully completed their journey to achieving the highest of the Gashka Awards, the Gold Awards. 
because people have come through the silver rewards and they've come through it. it's it's a very distinguished journey at the heart of the Gershka gold recipient stories there wants to have something that was very important when I became president in 2011, one of the very first projects I initiated was a consultation with young people. We spoke to 800 young people in different circumstances. Young people who were in prison, for example, who couldn't come out. I visited them and some provided me with audio tapes and so on. And the one thing about it in that year, 2011, when we were coming out of the recession of 2008, and I have to tell you that in all the concentration, north and south, throughout the entire island, uh, issues of equality and issues of respect for others were never out of the top three. And I called it in a way, it was in a way, it was an ethical conversation on what would be, then I asked them the question, uh, what, would be, what would be ethics for you? And they used words like respect, and they used words like equality, and they used words like sharing. And it was all beyond the self. And it was in complete contrast to what had happened in the previous decade and a half, where the emphasis had been on individualism. And what it revealed was something very, very important, that there was an instinct and a moral consciousness in the young people of Ireland that had been to some extent forgotten in the assertions that of accumulation at a personal level and, and, and all of that. But it was a great source of hope. And it is there, and this is reflected in all of the people today who have been receiving gold awards. Going for gold, Gashka gold, is not an easy undertaking, but it can be a greatly rewarding one, in, in not just for the self, but for others. Working on one's own initiative uh, to, remain, uh, uh, to, to, to remain motivated and focused in pursuit of an important goal, and to play a generous and active role. The whole thrust of what I have been describing so far was not just about, was about participation, participating in an ethical society, but realising as well that we had a responsibility to look at what was blocking other people's participation. And that's really why I have kept the message, and I continually make to the Council of Gashka, we must look always at who we're not yet including. And I think, for example, Gashka's council has responded, and it has broadened the reach of Gash, and I'm very, very grateful to that. But I often think, for example, when I read reports and others, what young people who write to me about, we still have quite a long way to go in relation to, for example, young people's mental health issues. We have quite a long way to go as well in relation to, for, in particular, groups, issues like that within particular groups, such as, for example, members of the travellers community. I was so pleased that time with that, there was such a good result to that being, we called it being young and Irish. And I think it, I just want to say um, that this word shared, that was, came out of the children, that came out of the young people's stories, it was about crafting a democracy. What does it mean to be living in a democracy? And, so and every now and again, the whole pace of the impact of technology. Young people, actually, I can, people like Apure are so interested. You're probably the first generation that are taking seriously the social responsibilities of technology. That it isn't only being able to access information, but it is also about making sure that information is used responsibly and ethically and with care for others, and it's not used abusively. And how important it is globally that technology is shared, not just by rich countries, but by those who in fact actually own particular patents, but that it is shared by all citizens. I think, therefore, what Gashka has achieved in its most recent work, in a way, is a significant move beyond limiting individualism. And, lim and the idea that you should be brilliant just for yourself is an invitation to misery. It will be in fact actually be a heady experience for a short while, but it is in the end miserable. And therefore I think it is all about sharing your achievement and looking and respecting it uh, for others. Uh, working to share to and create together a generous space that is welcoming to all and that prioritises collective welfare because there are things we have to restrain ourselves in seeking if others are in fact actually, if everyone is to, uh, if everyone is to, to benefit. 
at the present time, what a generation you can also say as well. You are the people who are giving a lead in relation to environmental consciousness. And the big new, the big exciting thing that's going to happen in the decades to come, this is the choice. We either descend back again into conditions of war. That's where I grew up. I was born in conditions of war. We either relapse back into conditions of war and competition of the most powerful, or something else happens, and that is the consciousness that's driving young people's awareness of environmental matters is combined with the consciousness for social justice, and both are combined with the consciousness of the need for ecological responsibility. Our, climate is, our planet is burning. Our biodiversity is being lost. I looked last night at seabirds falling into the sea because of the new avian flu that is extended now to the wild birds of, the, of Scotland and the East Coast and so forth. And all of these conscious and this idea of the united consciousness of, if you like, environment, social justice, ecological responsibility is going to be the achievement of the coming uh, generation. And all of the people who work for gold are the kind of people who have such a great opportunity, and I know you will take it, to spreading the appropriate messages about the kind of society that we must have. As a poet, I must say, uh, and I wanted to, kind of really, your words are very, very, had the, the ring of truth, that's all that matters in the end. But I think uh, that what is, we must restore our resonance with the world, with each other. Resonance is a nice, is the concept of, but that is if it was striking a string in, a, in an instrument about the way it travels out the sound. Our relationship, our resonance with each other, our resonance with the future and with the past, our resonance with nature above all else. Nature, we have in fact, as a human species, been so destructive in relation to the, in relation to the climate. That is why we must make sure that our better moments aren't lost. It's very important, as we deal with the conditions of an immoral war and invasion, not to lose the space. We've lost it on the televisions. We're now it's up to do sustainable goals, which you'll see emphasised in your visit to Oris and Ultron. They are more important now than ever. Issues of climate change are more important now than ever. Eliminating gross global poverty is more important than ever. You'll have seen my recent piece, maybe, in which I've been speaking about the risk we have of global famine, and particularly where I was in the Somalian famine 30 years ago. There was a famine again in 2011, and now I have 17.6 million people threatened famine because they're dependent on Ukrainian and Russian grain to the extent of 90% in, in Somalia. And these are all the issues, if when I was saying, that at my age now, as I have passed 80 and things like that. It's these issues that will give you all the energy you need. And you need, in fact, actually to be effective, to be able to discuss them with other people. And you are the kind of people who are now exceptionally talented. And you're not just standing to, but you actually delivered what was required uh, to achieve the goal. And I think that that's why I think you are just so important. And where you've been doing this is in different places. You know, you've been doing it in different institutional settings. I remember saying to somebody in the Kashyyyk Council one time, you know, when people said that they learned a new language or that they helped other people. Well, I said there's a woman who, there's a young girl who delivered a triple set of lambs down in Tipperary. Mm -hmm. And that's important as well. It's no matter where you are. And equally in relation to the people, for example, who have been in encampments and the people who are in relation to, 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 to direct provision. And there are people who are turning their lives around. So wherever you delivered your work, it's important. When I visited the young prison for young people, the places of detention for young people and so forth, they were turning their, their, their lives around. Then there were other people who were in the adult prisons who were bringing services that were very important, like the Samaritans and all of these, into it. So therefore, now, and it's important because uh, this is Douglas de Hida, Douglas de Hida did so much for the Irish language and reviving it, and that's why I'm very interested in speaking. So let me say, Tres Liam Levele, as Cochrane at the Agus flesh na tishma hori, agus gachtin a vei kaurak liv, agus fitur 
taught at Irtevia Chastarishta. I think that today's sermon is an important one. Uh, it's one in which we honour the gold recipients. We appreciate their effort. We wish them well. And we very much look forward to the future contribution that they will make. There are people who have come, as it were, through a triple set of jumps, bronze and silver, onto gold itself. And I know that today is not the end of your Gashka journey. You have heard the chairman, you have heard the chief executive, you will before we leave. And I think that they will be encouraging you to become part of the path. That is, of encourage others to be part of it. It is the wish of the president, it will be the issue for those who will come after me with the president's award, to say the wider the spread of Gashka and the wider the, and the greater inclusion we're doing in awards, the better it is. I do want again, I have already the Mele Buikas, the, the Kola Gashka, I have so thanked the Gashka Council, on Cahirlok, John Cunningham, and Privain Menaki von McKenna, but every one of the council as well. I thank you for the time that you have given, and you have, I know that you have been all trying to keep the, keep, keeping, keeping the organisation. I deeply appreciate that. And I want, as I said, to thank the award leaders, and I have already thanked the, your, the, the parents and all of those who have been of assistance in, in, in any way. Now, it will be very, in a few moments, it will be very shortly my opportunity uh, to present all the awards. Let me say, it's such a great pleasure, yet again, to welcome you all here. Buen Jana Vassal Corte Orison do enjoy your visit to Orison Uthron. Irish presidents have lived here since 1938. Uh, I'm the ninth president, as I said. And long before that, I think it's very important that it is, after all, the home of the president of Ireland that the people of Ireland elect. The grounds are the p people of Ireland's grounds. Enjoy it all, every bit of it. Because, in fact, actually, what you are the future. And I think that is why we respect the past. It is, in fact, actually with what you the shape and crafting you make of the future, where everything is going to change in your lifetime. You're going to have better economics, you're going to have better versions of society, you're going to have tasks approached with new energy, and driven ethically, and all of that will have been assisted by what you have achieved through Gashka. Again, I congratulate you all. I congratulate you for what you have achieved in this latest, latest final achievement, but it's not the final achievement of your life because you will have many based on your winning your gold award. Mira Buikas, Barbana. Thank you. Just before I hand you back to the president and your gorgeous medals, cheer for the medals. Ooh, it's getting to be medals time. Uh, it's very exciting. Just a little bit of um, uh, a little bit of housekeeping, as you can see. A cheer for the gentleman removing the podium. The big round of applause. Underappreciated. Thank you very much, gents. Now, who likes a bit of a dance? We have a tiny bit of choreography. Don't be scared. You don't have to like dancing. It's okay. So, you remember when you'd go to Lidl during the pandemic and you'd have to do a one-way system, and we all loved it. Well, one more one-way system for you today. So, when you hear your gorgeous name, I'm going to read your gorgeous names from here. You will come up from this side. Everyone can see me? Up from this side over here. Come through here, and you will, be, you will be meet the president, get your gorgeous medal, and then you will go, you'll strike a pose. Have a beautiful photograph taken. Then carry on through over there to Niall over there. Give us a wave, Niall. Niall will give you your personal certificate. And then you'll carry on around the back and back to your seat. Got it? Yeah. See? Everyone's, everyone's right on board. So we now come to the all-important ceremony. I've been hearing so much about you all from your portfolios, from your pals, and from the Gashka team here. Even fabulous John was bigging you up even more than himself. Fabulous. And I've been utterly blown away. We've got young people who started scuba diving, people who cared for abandoned horses, people who trekked over 80 kilometers for the very first time away from home across the beautiful Waterford Greenway. Some of you have worked with young children with autism, participated in choirs over lockdown to raise the spirits of your local community, volunteered, thank you lads, in charity shops, helped out at bingo halls, raised money for charity, and challenged yourselves and others with campaigns around global citizenship. And I didn't even learn to make banana bread. You are awesome. 
So, that we've got our choreography done. Please welcome back President Ingrid and the Gashka of CEO Yvonne McKenna. They will be presenting your awards. There she is, magnificent. Now we're almost there. There are a lot of awardees today, so let's make sure we give everyone an equal, energetic Can welcome. Thank yourself for your contribution. Oh, for me, for me, for me, I'm such a fan. Thank you so much. Oh, stop. Oh, how can I carry on? Anyway, on Will Shiv Rig. Are you ready, Toshiv? Okay, here we go. I've got my list of names. It really is like the Oscars. This is very exciting. The first recipient of the award is Aideen Bergen. <laughs> Anya Feely. <laughs> Alana Roach. Alicia O'Donnell. <laughs> Alison Egan. <laughs> Andrew Gilchrist. <laughs> Aoife Nolan. Henry Mullen. Thank you for keeping up the applause. If you need to take a rest, we'll give a huge round of applause. Big bull of us at the end, so don't worry. Uh, Arno Farrell. <laughs> Ashling Nesbitt. Katrina Boyd. <laughs> Caroline O'Keefe. <laughs> Catherine Mohan. <laughs> Christine Gibson. Kira Cunningham. <laughs> Kira McDade. <laughs> Kira Shannon. <laughs> Kieran Higgins. Killian Kavanagh. <laughs> Connor Butler. <laughs> Connor Farrell. <laughs> Dervla Fitzgerald. Erin <laughs> Shimizu. Evan Dargan Hayes. <laughs> Fergal McKee. <laughs> Gronya Nigurin. <laughs> Hugh Ward. <laughs> James Ladd. James O'Shaughnessy. <laughs> Jane Byrne. <laughs> Jason Nolan. <laughs> You're doing amazing on the applause, lads. You're being so brilliant. Thank you. Jen Gillen. <laughs> Joshua Hall. Kat 
Kathleen Coleman. Kathy Seal. Katie O'Hara. Kirsty Moran. Lisa Kelly. Mary Canaan. Mark Hartery. Mark O'Keefe. Mark Wolf. Big showing for the Marks today. Mary McDonnell. Maeve Cairns. Michael Mackin. Michelle McLaughlin. Miriam Hastings. Miriam Keegan. Natasha Myers. Nathan Sheehan. Nikki Bond. Nicole Landy. Norma O'Leary. Aaron Devlin. Aaron Whelan. Orla Leahy. Orla Masterson. Pamela Harding. Peter Menzies. You're doing great, lads. Your hands must be well warmed up by now. You're doing fabulously. Rachel Casey. Rachel Hastings. Rachel Murray. Rachel Rice. Rice Smith. Richard Crichton. Ross O'Connor. Ruth Fenton. <laughs> Samantha Gallagher. Samuel Lynch. Sarah Gartside. Sarah Ryan Purcell. Shannon O'Brien.
Shauna say on that? Yes, Shauna. Welcome. Sinead Reedy. Susan Higgins. And Billy Hedigan. Huge pool of us. Huge pool of us for our awardees. I now invite Yvonne McKenna Gashka of CEO to give us her closing remarks. Please pop over here. Yeah. Utrona Heron, Banui, Gin, Adina Ushla, Don Ohas Erm or Erin, Avet and Shah, Erin Loss, Bashil Tisha, the Gashka Gold Award Ceremony. August, um, especially in Oit Shah, Aras and Utron. Grev Mila Mahagiv, thank you so much for welcoming us here today. Um, it's been a really lovely day of celebration and it's not over yet, um, but before we move to, to refreshments in the house and the beautiful surrounds of the Aris, um, I just want to take the opportunity to say a few words. Um, so first of all, of course, to our wonderful awardees, um, and on behalf of everyone in Gashka, I want to say a very sincere and heartfelt, cohorgeous congratulations. Um, what you have achieved is enormous, not just for yourselves, but for in the lives of others and the communities in which you live. And we know this from, from all your portfolios and from the stories you've told us. Um, so like the president has said, my message is don't stop now. I know it's been some time since you answered the president's call to register for Gashka and go through all your bronze, silvers and gold. And I know you've waited a long time for today, but please don't let this be the end of your Gashka story. Um, I suppose we've heard from Colm about the impact of doing Gashka on him, and, and I have to say I'm a recipient because I've been in the audience of Colm, and I didn't know that that might not have happened if you hadn't chosen to follow your Gashka journey as well. Um, but also how much he's paid it forward, and how increasingly through your life, you know, these memories of, of what you did with Gashka continue to come back to you and uh, continue to create you. Um, so, so you are an Colm's an inspiration. You are all an inspiration to us and to others. So, our, 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 I suppose our big request to you is, is to play it forward. Um, so your next challenge, if you're willing to accept it, um, is to stay in touch with us and help us tell more young people about Gashka and support them to do the award. You are the most wonderful ambassadors for the programme and can help us in, in our job about getting it out there. Um, I also want to say a few words of thanks. And the first people I want to thank are the ones who helped all of you get here today to, to be awardees on your, on your Gashka journey, um, including, of course, your President's Award leaders. But in all the portfolios and in all the stories you, you tell us about your experience doing the President's Award, um, you speak with such gratitude and affection about your pals and all the people who, who, who got you here today. Um, Gashka is about personal development, and again, as we've already heard, but no one can achieve it on their own. And that point is made so eloquently by you in your portfolios and in your stories of it. Um, so I want to give you all the opportunity today, very publicly and streaming all over the country, and anyone else who wants to join as well in, just to give a massive round of applause to all the pals and all the friends and family and everyone else, including each other, who helped to get you here today. So big boo of us. A few other words of thanks. Um, so days like today don't fall out of the sky, as we know. Um, and there are so many people to thank that I think if I start, we'll never get out there. So I will stop myself doing that. Um, so the first uh, people I want to start by thanking is just my wonderful colleagues in Gashka, um, and especially Sheena and Emily, who were invo involved so much in, in today, and the chair and all the council for all their amazing uh, voluntary contribution and commitment to the organisation. Um, I also want to really sincerely thank uh, the, the SecGen and all the officials within uh, the Office of the President, and as well the, uh, the, the staff of the Irish, who have just been wonderful, and it really is such a special place to be today. 
Um, so I want to thank you all. We have a small gift of our appreciation to the President himself, whose wonderful words and generosity uh, today. So Kirsty is going to uh, present you, um, President Higgins, with a, a, a brass coal scuttle, which was handmade by two of the few working tinsmiths in the country. And I think you've already mentioned uh, the travelling community and the two tinsmiths were members of the travelling community. So this is a very special gift, which we'd like to share with you. Thank you, Kirsty. Um, I'm also delighted to ask Mark to present some flowers to Mrs. Sabina for being here today in such an important part of our day. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Um, Tara has done. Oh, well, Tara's hiding. No, she's not. <laughs> Tara Flynn has just been a wonderful MC today. Um, really want to thank you sincerely for for not just what you've done today, but particularly for today. Um, and we also have a small bunch of flowers, which um, Norma is going to oh. present to you. Because <laughs> you can't hide. You have to. Come <laughs> And of course, we have a small token for Colm, a wonderful poet who was also uh, contributing to, to the artistic lives of young people all over the country. So Billy is going to hand you with a, a small uh, contribution or representation of our thanks for you as well. Um, and I suppose our final thank you is to our awardees themselves um, for giving us days like this when we can celebrate what is good in the world. Um, we've been through a few tricky years and uh, we're living in strange times, I think it's fair to say. But your stories, what you have accomplished and the compare, care and compassion that you have shown for others and the world around you um, make us very proud, inspire us and we've also learned from you. Um, so the Gashka Gold, your Gashka Gold, is a reminder of your ability to achieve and to achieve big. Um, it represents your preparedness for the world in whatever you choose to do. And we wish you all the very best for, for what we know will be an incredibly bright future for you all. Um, that really is all it is for me. So until we meet again, Garev Mila Mahagas, Galer Slan Agus Banat. Thank you so much. I'd just like to thank everyone sort of behind the scenes, people doing lights and sound and all of that. So thank you all very much. And our podium guys, thank you very much for all that. Thank you to Gashka for having me. Thank you for everyone who's done so much work behind the scenes to bring off today. So a little round of applause for them. Thank you. Just incredible. It has been an honour to be here. We've heard lots of incredible things. We've heard about equality, respect for others. We've heard about sharing and, and sharing our future and that our future is in your shared hands, and I think that's an, we, that means we're in incredible shape. You're, you're absolutely amazing. We've also heard about kayaks as hand luggage and um, all kinds of things that Colm can inspire us <laughs> to do. So never be afraid to try, even if you're going through the airport. I think that's my takeaway from today. Uh, you have now, we're now near coming to the end of these formal proceedings. It has been an absolute joy to be here to share this time with you and celebrate the power of your achievements and the challenge to everyone in this room to remain connected with Goshka as part of the Goshka Gold community, to inspire the next generation of awardees in a path you have paved out. And the President and Mrs Higgins are about to, to depart. So, uh, Uchtaron and um, uh, Sabina, thank you so much for having us in your home. What an incredible honour. Um, so, uh, we will hand you over to the the ADC again to say goodbye to our incredible hosts. Well, before we do that, I think it powered us. There was another round of applause, I think. <laughs> well deserved. And while I have your attention, ladies and gentlemen, will you please keep the round of applause going for the departure of the President and Sabina Higgins.
Okay, folks, in one or two moments, you'll be invited to make your way back to the main house where refreshments will be served and entertainment will be laid on. So just bear with us for one or two moments uh, and I'll get back on to you in a second. Thank you. Huge round of applause for the ages, uh, so yes, that's nearly it. So uh, yes, I think that that that's all covered because you're going to be going for some light refreshments at the in the Aura State reception room, if you don't mind. Ooh, look how fancy you all are. My challenge for the rest of the day is try and get a, at least one picture with one of the dogs for yourselves. Um, make sure and let the president know you're going to have a big, big group photograph. All of you together, going to all squeeze in. It's going to be amazing. Yes, woo! Someone's very excited about it, and I think she should be. Um, and then, and make sure if you get a chance to chat to the president, tell him all about how the award has impacted you, your plans for the future. Uh, he's very excited to hear from you. And now I think we are all in very safe hands. So I think we'll just wait to hear whether. Oh, Sheena has. Oh, wait, Sheena, sketch. Oh, sorry, we're going, oh, we're going two separate photographs. Ooh. So we're going to go the year that you were meant to get your award, 2020, we'll go first. The year that you were meant to get your award, 2021. It's almost like I learned off something earlier, just in case it was going to happen. Um, oh, and we should say goodbye. Let's all wave goodbye to our live stream audience. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you for joining us. It's great to have you here. Oh, and the council may leave us as well. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't have that in front of me. The council may now leave. The fabulous council. Well done, council. Thank you. Oh, councillor. Oh, councillor.